and new information. Anyone abused in the uh, Boy Scouts of America could soon be allowed to seek financial damages. This if Governor Kay Ivey signs a new bill into law. Way 31 reporter Jillian Kay spoke with local trauma ther therapists about sexual abuse and its lasting effects. And Jillian, how can survivors cope with this? Well, Rob, sometimes it takes victims years to come forward. One expert says it can take sexual abuse survivors year years to heal from their trauma, but the path to healing starts with the right treatment. This is all that I'm good for. The other person's needs and wants are important, mine are not. Those are the lies Erica Hochberger says most sexual abuse survivors tell themselves. She's a trauma therapist at Huntsville's National Children's Advocacy Center. Hawkberger specializes in helping sexually abused kids cope. So maybe it's hard to trust in relationship. Maybe it's hard to trust authorities. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services reports that every nine minutes, Child Protective Services finds evidence for a claim of child sexual abuse. That study also says victims are four times more likely to abuse drugs, experience PTSD, and major depressive episodes as adults. Maybe they're thinking about, how do I trust somebody? How do I know if they're really trustworthy or not? To start the healing process, Hawkberger suggests two forms of therapy. The first is TFCBT, which involves a one-on-one -on -one therapy session talking through your trauma. The other, EMDR, which focuses less on talking and more on processing trap memories. Both methods, Hawkberger says, will make all the difference. When we're the kids, we're supposed to be able to trust our adults that they're going to you know, take care of us, that they're going to help us, that they're definitely not ever going to do anything to hurt us. If someone sexually abuses a child, report them to law enforcement and the Department of Human Resources immediately. Hawkberger recommends getting that child the support they need, so contact a trauma therapist you trust. With coverage you can count on, I'm Jillian Kay, Way 31 News.